Hi, my name is Rachel and I am mum to Luna who is seven weeks old. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a fun part of the parenting journey, which is bathing your newborn baby. Some may get nervous about this, but it's actually really simple. And I'm here today to share some useful tips that you can use when it comes to bathing your newborn baby. Luna absolutely loves bath time. So it's a really fun part of the day for us. When bathing your baby, you don't actually need to do it every day. But if your little one is a firm fan and they really enjoy it, then there's no reason why you can't do this every day. Before bathing your baby, you should really gather everything you need together. Baby bath or baby seat in our case, uh, cloths and towels and all of the necessary things that you need to actually bathe your newborn. In no circumstance should you ever be in a situation where you will leave your baby unattended. They can actually drown in as little as five centimetres of water. So it's really important that you don't do that. However, if you do really need to leave the room, then just make sure that you take your baby with you. And another safety tip to be aware of is to make sure that you warm the room through beforehand. For the first few months, you will find it easier to use a baby bath, or in our case, a baby seat. A baby seat will go into the bath and be used in the bathroom, whereas a baby bath can actually be used in any room of the house. If you are using a baby bath, make sure you place it on a secure surface and out of the way of any drafts. Firstly, make sure your baby is undressed and is wrapped in a nice warm towel to keep them at a suitable temperature before bath time. Before you begin to bath them, you will need to check the temperature of the water to see if it's suitable for your little one. You can do this using a bath thermometer or you can use your elbow or the inside of your wrist. A method you can use to bathe your baby is the topping and tailing technique. For this, you will wash your baby's face and neck with cooled boiled water and make sure you use separate pieces of cotton wool for each eye around their nose and mouth and in the creases of their neck. When cleansing their face don't try to clean inside their nose or ears and you shouldn't use any products on their face. Then wash your baby's hands and remove any fluff that might be caught in between those little fingers. Make sure the top half of your baby is covered and dressed for the next part so that they don't get cold as now you'll remove your baby's nappy and wipe away any solid matter that might be there before cleansing. Once this has been done, cleanse the area with cotton wool that has been soaked in warm water. A baby wipe or baby lotion can then be used. When drying your baby, you should pat their skin rather than drying it by rubbing and make sure you get into their little folds and creases. Finally, before putting on a clean nappy, you may wish to apply a barrier cream to help prevent nappy rash. If you wish to wash your baby's hair, you may want to do this now before placing your baby in the bath. By doing that, you can simply hold them wrapped in their towel backwards over the bath with their legs held between your arm and side and their body supported along the length of your forearm with their head in your hand. Scoop water over their head with your free hand and gently apply some baby shampoo. Then rinse off the shampoo with fresh water and very gently pat their hair dry. Next, you'll want to remove their towel and gently place them in the bath. Again, you should check the temperature of the water before placing them in the bath. Hold your baby so that their head and back is supported on your arm, then use the other hand to wash your baby. If their cord stump gets wet, that doesn't matter, just make sure it's dried very carefully afterwards. Bathing your baby should be a fun time, not just for them, but also for you. It is such an amazing opportunity to bond with your baby. Once your baby is all fresh and out of the bath, it'll be time to get them dressed once more. Luna isn't a massive fan of getting out of the bath. She loves it so much. So when she's out, she does start to scream. 
a little bit. It's a really good, good idea to get the nappy on as quick as possible. We use Sudacrem as a nappier barrier cream, but there are other brands available for that. We also use Johnson's Baby Lotion, and as you start to massage that into your baby skin, it's a lovely chance to kind of develop some baby massage techniques. And as you can see, Luna does start to calm down with that as well. She really enjoys it. And the more that we've done this, the more it's probably become one of your favorite parts of bath time. The more you do it, the more you and your baby will really start to enjoy bath time and the less anxious you will be about it. Getting them ready for the day or getting them ready for bed should become part of your routine. And if you are actually looking for any more helpful tips and advice, please do check out the Emma's Diary website for more videos and blog posts, anything to do with your little one. Hope you enjoyed this video.